I mean, now I'm anti-women because I don't think three-year-olds should be going into puberty. By the way, you think I'm joking? Three-year-olds are now menstruating. In fact, Google it. Uh, as children as young as five, three to five now going into, I mean, it's happening. The boys are going into puberty later because they're on female hormones. And the girls, but I know, I know you won't stop because it's not trendy. Just breast cancer, trendy, cool. You know, you notice they never talk about ways to find out why the U.S. has the highest rate and then Europe next uh, for breast cancer. They know full damn well. It's all about treating it. How to burn your breast off, how to cut them off, how great it is, instead of telling you why these bastards are doing it to you. And then I'm not supposed to even get angry here. <laughs> I haven't even gotten into the documents. I mean, here's CDC, but hey, CBS can just make fun of me. Growing up soon, puberty strikes seven-year-old girls. Study in three major cities finds that puberty is rising among second graders. Uh, yeah, no, there's actually now people uh, age three, if you actually look at the medical literature. And by the way, it's large numbers. The average age is now 10 now. In the 1950s, it was 14. So your boys are supposed to go into puberty at 11 to 13. Girls are supposed to go in 13 to 14 in all studies, the medical reports going back for hundreds of years. Now your boys are little girls, so their testicles don't even drop a lot of times until they're 15. Okay? And your women are running around dressed like whores when they're nine. And you know why they're acting like that? Because they're on female hormones. And you may like your daughter dying. You may think it's fun mama's getting her breast burned off right now and going to be in a box soon. But I'm pissed off about this. Excuse me. I mean, is there no end to what these murdering scum do to us? And, of course, oh, the doctor assured them there was nothing wrong with the girl, and then they give them hormone treatments. Oh, here, we'll give you hormones to block you going into this instead of saying, why are you on all these hormones? Why are you, why is this happening? Why? Why is cancer exploding? Breast cancer, several thousand percent. Why? 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 Instead, oh, don't worry, we got a treatment for that. And notice, typically, U.S. girls hit puberty around 10 or 11. Used to be 13 or 14. Now, oh, the old low age is now the new old age. And soon it'll be, well, typically girls go into puberty at 7 or 8, but now they go into it at 2 or 3. By the way, you read Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, whose brother was Julian Huxley and ran the UN UNESCO program. Before the UN even existed, in 1932, he wrote Brave New World, where the elite have different cast of humans, and they have humans that go into puberty by seven to have more basic little drones, and, and they're all grown in these frickin' tanks. Go read it. And Huxley, before he died, spilt the beans in 62 at Berkeley and said, this is all planned, we're going to do it to you. I mean, it's, it's a total, and it's all chicken neck scum playing God, saying we deserve it, writing memos about it. And, and still, most people will say, hey, Alex says you're getting breast cancer from that. He's the one that says it's me. he's a homophobe. And I'm like, uh, no, uh, the frogs are actually uh, now uh, bisexual. Well, shut up. They deserve it, too. What are, you, what are you against that? And it's like, I mean, it's like a religion. It's like running off cliffs. Oh my God, the level of idiocy is just unbelievable. Here's another one. London Telegraph, bisphenol, a now link to male infertility. Sperm counts plunging, 87%. Toxic chemicals and branded clothing. It's in the clothing. It's in the food. It's in the water. They know. They're adding it. They're not stopping. It's a war. De Canada declares BPA toxic. Set stage for more. Some countries are trying to restrict it, but here in the U.S., uh-uh. They're just saying, you, you don't think you're going to stop us by choosing stuff that's bisphenol A? You're going to learn to read the number on the bottom? Because the elite like having that number. They're like, oh, I'm not getting that. That's not for me. They're it's all their little sick joke. They're just going, we're hitting everything. You think you're going to, just like when we exposed aspartame in the food and water, killing people and causing problems? Now they've added it to tens of thousands of products. All the sugar, gums, everything, they're like, you're not going to stop us for a minute. You know what aspartame is? Go look it up. I always tell people this, and they laugh at me until they look it up, and they go, oh, my God, you're right. The Pentagon is trying to create bacteria that produce chemical weapons. And it's one of the first genetically engineered bacteria in the 60s, 1967, E. coli, that eats toxic waste and craps out aspartame. It is bacteria crap. It's a highly toxic neurotoxin. And of course you want more of it. It gets you higher in the kite. You think Coca-Cola got angry when they couldn't put cocaine in it anymore? They just came out with this little goodie. It took them three tries to get it approved at the FDA. 
until the he former head of Searle, the subdivision of Monsanto, got in there in the Reagan administration and got it legalized. Have you read the monkey studies of what aspartame added to monkey milk did to the babies? Okay, uh, here's Washington Post from four years ago. FDA faulted for stance on chemicals and plastics. They tried to block it but, and did block it, but people still started researching it and, and saying no to the products. Synthetic estrogen BPA costs cash register receipts, coats them, sterilizing the workers. Uh, here's the deadly molecules. Uh, here's the bisphenol A molecule. Give me document cams on all this. I'm just going to hurry through this here. We're going to have like a two-hour show again tonight. There's all that. There's bisphenol A molecule. You might want to find out about this if you care about your family. Or so what? Maybe you like breast cancer. I certainly don't. Just trying to save you. Uh, puberty in girls hastened by harmful chemicals. BPA, common chemical linked to obesity. Oh, yeah, all of it. Even glass jars contain BPA chemical due to lid lining. Scientific study finds 40% of all store receipts contain dangerous hormone disrupting chemical. Dirty money traces a BPA found on Currency Time magazine. Here's a, here it all is. It's, it's in 90% of all canned food. No, no what, you know what you say, no S, Sherlock. Right there, BP, I mean, I'm not in the profanity, folks, but at points like this, it's hard to not be. I mean, what in flaming Hades? Of course, the stinking juice box liners and the stinking can liners are BPA. Of course they found it in 90%. What are your little kids drinking? No wonder Bobby at 11 wants to wear a dress. He's jacked up on so many female hormones, he's got more than Marilyn Monroe at 25. And no wonder your five-year-old's going into puberty if she's a girl. All right, look, 232 toxic chemicals in 10 minority babies. They did a big study on that. My God, yeah, they found studies in the same cities where you'll go test blacks and they'll have three or four times the fluoride in them. You know why? Because a lot of cities, it, the engineers put it in where the, where the rest don't even understand it. They actually pipe more to the minority areas. My God, the pure evil of this. All right, I, I'm not going to have time to go through all of it. A uh, common chemical linked to a slew of health problems. Bisphenol A. I mean, look, I, bisphenol A, chemical used to make plastics found to leach into drinking bottles into humans. Boom. Um, uh, look, I'm done. I'm done. I, I've got a full focus report coming out on this later in the week. But I don't know how to shut up. I don't know how to not freak out. I don't know how to be completely uh, calm here when we're dealing with this. And I apologize for getting a little bit angry here. But I don't apologize. I mean... Look at this. This is, this is official Planned Parenthood garbage saying we're going to encourage homosexuality and put it in the water. I mean, right there. Right there. And then they tell the poor people whose numbers are massively increasing, well, this is just how you feel. You should go with it. In fact, I almost forgot. Guys, Google, because it'll be London Guardian. Pentagon wanted to use gay bomb on Iraqis. And see... There's a reason in every culture the men have done the fighting. In a lion pride, the women go out and hunt and get most of the meat. The males walk perimeter around the pride area and attack hyenas and things and also compete with other males to increase the vigor of the species. And it's the same thing with many species of dolphin. It's the same th porpoise. It's the same thing with so many species that the males defend the territory range of the females and the babies. Now, men normally, at a certain point when they're being dominated, will just get violent or will get politically motivated, which is a form of, you know, high-tech violence done through the law when people try to run over them. It's normal. How did Land of the Free, Home of the Brave turn into a national flag of an obese guy who's had his testicles chopped off sucking a lollipop? I mean, how did America become a sheep sticking its head in the ground, the ostrich sheep? How did we become this? We became this way through chemical warfare. And so as people wake up to this fact that it's happening, they say, oh, no, 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 don't listen to him. Just go with it. Just go with it. And they do this, and then they have all the messages in the media everywhere pushing, oh, 
you know, you're not attracted to women. Well, you should do this. People ask, well, how do hormones do this? It affects the endocrine system. It affects the olfactory nerve. It gets into smell. It gets into hormonal triggers. Uh, it gets into a whole cornucopia of things. That it's not just the curves of a woman that are supposed to attract a man. It's the smell. Even things you can't consciously pick up. Okay? And so it's the smell of a woman. And for women, it's the scent of a man. That's what this is all about. And so they're messing with that. They're playing games with it. And they're sitting back laughing at us, and then they make it a civil right when you don't want this done to your kids. Oh, the government has a right to put the chemicals in there and then come in and take control of your child when they're confused with the school counselor to make sure they get on a path to never have children. And that is an incredible evil. And that I will expose. Stop bombarding us with hormones. Leave me alone like I naturally am. And then you find out for some of these groups, it is about recruiting. It is about a revolution. It is about domination. It is about those who do not like what is the dominant existing order of, of life on this planet, overthrowing it in their own image. And that is blasphemous. Even if you don't believe in God, it is blasphemy against the incredible biosphere, against the incredible life forms of this planet, against that amazing balance that is life. It is a bunch of men playing the part of God and jacking with our entire food supply and system. And again, I'm glad that the media attacked me for that simple line about they want to create gender confusion and break up the family, which I just read to you, just some of the proof. We'll have even more coming out later in the week because I was really warning women about breast cancer. And so when people flood in here to attack me uh, for being this wicked homophobe, because I'm pointing out they're, they're jacking us with these chemicals, I will take the blame, which is great, and then people will learn about the hormones being added that are massively increasing cancers in women, not as much in men, but it's also bad in men. Because that's all I care about. This will save a lot of people, and, and that's good. CBS News and others don't want you to know about that. Uh, you did find the article about uh, U.S. military. Yes, Air Force looked at spray to turn enemy gay. Look at that, London Guardian. When I reported on that, I was attacked, and they said I made that up. This is what's been done. This is what's going on. This is what is happening. They are trying to take our free will away and chemically do this to us and then say that everybody's born this way. There it is, far from being the product of conspiracy theorists, documents released to a biological weapons watchdog in Austin. Texas confirmed the U.S. military did investigate the idea. Yeah, you notice conspiracy theory because they'd already been attacking me for it and others. So it's just right there. Okay, London Guardian, biggest paper in Europe, not just England. All right, I'm out of time. We're going to go to break, come back with two interviews on key subjects. But get this video out to everybody and know later in the week, a big report we put a lot of work into is coming out to expose this. So get it out to everybody you know. Great job to the crew. We'll be right back. We were brought up loving our country and our Constitution. That in the United States of America, we were free. And that's an attitude that we've tried to instill in our children. I met my wife while uh, in the Air Force. I was a combat pilot in Vietnam. I served in Desert Storm as a commander. When I graduated from the academy, I took the oath of office. Uh, and as a commander, I administered that oath to many people. Now I, I wonder about the understanding people have of our constitution. And I think about our candidates for president of the United States. Uh, it's interesting to see the support Ron Paul gets from the military. And if we think back to the code of conduct, uh, and people raising their right hand that they were going to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Why would those same people support in great numbers Ron Paul? I think it's because they know that he supports the Constitution of the United States. It doesn't mean you have to go to war to do it. Uh, it means you have to understand what the Constitution is and be a supporter inside of your own country, whether you're in the military or not of that constitution and make the United States strong. And Ron Paul does that. That's his feeling, that's his thrust. And that's why if you look at the percentages that support him in the military, it's 
huge. Why is that? Because they've raised their right hands and they're putting their lives on the line for us here in the United States. And they know that Ron Paul does the same.